Boys, welcome back to another episode of ATV. We're gonna take out the X3. We got Spaz all tucked in the XRC first rip for him right on. This will be cool. See how she performs on these tires. I was hoping to get a snow test in, but the rain came and took everything away, so. How much are you gonna hold up top? Because we're probably over three quarters, but I wanna see. Something's out of fill the bike already, and that's just at the top for this thing. Ooh, she holds a lot. Well, what the hell? That's ridiculous. You thirsty brick. I could have filled up two bites. And you're still taking. Yeah, go ahead, gulp, gulp. 30 bucks later. 33! Oh my god! No, it's not. What would it take to fill this? What is gas at for crying out loud? This is getting stupid, I'll tell you. Boys, welcome back to another episode of ATV. We're going to take out the X3 and uh, see how she performs on these tires. I was hoping to get a snow test in, but the rain came and took everything away. So, um, yeah, you can see we made a few changes there. We got some nets on her now. We threw on the XM310s just to uh, hopefully get a better grip in the snow, right? Um, we're going to go racing, boys and girls. We're going to take her. We've went and uh, purchased a membership uh, for the CSRA. That's the uh, Canadian Snow Cross uh, Racing Association. So there's a couple things we got to do, right? We got an extinguisher coming to throw on there. You had to have the nets. I mean, the nice thing about the XRC, you already have the intrusion, and uh, you know the Mavericks come with a, a fully certified uh, roll cage, so you're good there too, right? I mean, most things do these days. I do believe, anyways. Um, but yeah, got lots of spare parts on order, like tie rods and. And radius rods and axles and things that you might need if you experience uh breakages you know how it goes boys but anyways we're gonna take her out we're gonna test her out and uh told spaz we we're going out and he's like yeah come by grab me up man glad to be a passenger so although i bet he'll change his mind by the time i get there he'll want to take his bike out i'm sure of it is what it is but uh yeah right on so yeah really looking forward to uh trying my hand at racing why not man a lot of fun playing at the track out there at the Bayside Trailblazers track. Just on number two highway there, man. We had a blast there this summer. Throwing a mud event, hosting a Bay Marines full throttle off-road racing. Race day. We're getting the right stuff. Look at this. It's going to be epic.
up it. So what we're gonna do is grab some gas for this thing. That's all there is to these nets. Got some magnets in there? Yes, you do. It just kind of clings onto the bar, strapped around there. Easy peasy. Back to the gas station we go. Mirror's all right, position's good. I like it. Off we go. is I took the uh, took the renegade rims and tires and threw it on the unit for uh, for the whole racing gig because I think the XM310 from my experience on the renegade when it comes to uh, snow even if it's packed they will dig in but they work really well and they get you out of the hole faster than anything else I've tried so that's the idea to try to get a faster hole shot right we're gonna go racing then it's kind of important very important. But we are now back to the width of what where we were when we were uh, running the XMR with the offset rims. We definitely stick out the truth a lot more. A lot of rain here, took away all our snow. We're in January now. What is it? January uh, 10th or 11th today? But yeah, so. Oh shit! Did not foresee that. We got crunchy there. We got ice under. Yeah, all right. We'll use the all-wheel drive, and uh, definitely go through. We just need the all-wheel drive. Break up, chew up some of that ice. I'm guessing we're going to be dealing with lots of that today. Yeah. My best to keep you guys clean. We're uh, looking at a lot of rain in the forecast. We have a lot of rain, so I expect there's going to be a lot of spray today. So I'm really curious to see. We're just going to go around that big ice hole. Where uh, this tire, weight wise, with the rims and the tires, kind of does to the clutching, right? Because those 32s up beside these 31s, you can see there's at least an inch. So, and the weight, well, the tires actually say that they weigh less than the XM310s, but to the feel, it didn't seem like it, and uh, the other thing I was going to say was uh, the rims, the rims, the 15-inch rims that were on here definitely seem quite a bit heavier than uh, these Renegade rims that I got on right now. So, they definitely changed. Or who knows, maybe we land with basically the same weight. Different numbers. No different numbers, but, but yeah, so. It's gonna be tough today though. The ground is actually still frozen with all this grease on top. So I don't know. But you will have to bear in mind we are wider. That's good. Try to see what's working in the grass. The other thing we've given up for the snow, which you know shouldn't be a problem on the track and all the racing, but out here I'm gonna have to be more mindful. Is the deep dish rims, the 15s, they go and they encase everything. Jeez, look at this. And uh, so you're getting protection in your uh, calipers and stuff like that that I don't have right now. We are pushing whip. We are definitely pushing whip, so be quite mindful here in the bush. That was close. We probably just kissed the tire there. Yeah, we're definitely sticking out quite a bit more. I was just getting used to uh, being less than 72. I mean, the other, this, this unit with the 15s and everything, yeah, it's a 72 inch wide side by side. So that's basically on full squat, right? So the way they've got the new tune on the suspension, they don't do full squat unless you hit something. They're set up really nice right now. I like this compared to where the XMR was at. Um, so yeah, man. Come on, bro. Now, when the 15 inch rims with the Liberties on there, once you hit something hard, you hit full squat, yeah, you're, you're over the 72, but. But 
this thing stock sitting there on the ground with this suspension preload and the way it's all set up was actually closer to what about 69 in the rear a little wider in the front 70 close to 72 up front but not quite Oh, this debris sucks. Making it hard to kind of put some scratches on the old panels. They feel lightweight, just like they did on the XMR. Not surprised there. Tight, tight, tight. Turn out. Out. And in. So yeah, I don't actually think we're gonna get traction today because the ground is solid, like it's really frozen. It's got a little grease on top, which is even worse because the lugs can't sink in and get anything. But the moment we get snow, I think we got a different animal here now. Or at least usable. I don't see those liberties being remotely useful in over six inches of powder. And that's, you know, what we enjoy going out to ride in, really. Okay. We'll try to save what lugs we got. definitely a few inches wider now and that has changed the stability of the car a great deal for sure it did hopefully these water holes aren't too difficult to get through i know we had a couple cold nights so Shit. 
you know something i don't think i have my puncture kit on me and i usually always do but we definitely need to make sure one gets into this unit gonna hold up top because we're probably over three quarters but I want to see 33 oh my god ridiculous all right we're going to pay for the ship maybe get a nice little camera shot there for you boys see what she's saying Man. all systems are go Get it done, they say.
Fun. Oh, buddy, this thing is so much fun. Yes. But I will say, it's a little greasy out there right now, so they don't really... Actually, the other tires would have been better for now, but we're, we're preparing for the racing, right? The snow. So, we know what we're doing. We just, uh... Oh. Uh, cut, cut, cut. All right, we'll be back. <laughs>